all, and welcome to our channel. Thank you for following Golden Age Traveling. Today, I want to share our trip to Pilsen and our tour of Pilsner Urquell Brewery in the Czech Republic. For those not familiar with the Czech Republic, Pilsen is a little town about 90 kilometers west of Prague and is the fourth most populous city with about 169,000 inhabitants. Pilsen is an important city in the history of beer, including the development of Pilsner. Pilsen's remarkably soft water and the Bavarian-style lagering process produced a clear golden beer, which was regarded as a sensation. In 1898, the Pilsner-Urkel trademark was created to put emphasis on it being the original brewery. Welcome to Prisoner Urkel. Pilsner Urkel beer was born 179 years ago and is still in the same location. I was quite impressed with the visitor center and enjoyed looking around at all the little displays they had scattered around the room while we waited for our tour to begin. After learning a little bit more about Pilsner Urkel, we all got on a bus and went to the bottling facility building. The modern facility produces about 120,000 bottles and 60,000 aluminum cans per hour. Wow. That was also very impressive. They shared with us the ingredients from which the Pilsner beer is brewed. One thing I was hoping to see on our tour was a brew house. Happily, they did not disappoint. It was interesting to find out that they actually have three brew houses from three different centuries. The tops are copper and very shiny. It was a warm day and the brew houses were very warm. Thus, we didn't stay in there very long, thankfully. What I did think was cool was that we got to see the brewing kettle in which the first batch of Pilsner Urquell beer was brewed on October 5th of 1842. It's crazy but wonderful that the historic way of brewing Pilsner Urquell beer remains the same today. Not surprisingly though, 9 out of 10 beers produced and consumed in the world today are pale lagers based on Pilsner Urquell. And as I stated earlier, the German name, which means original source, was adopted as a trademark in 1898. Well, we made it toward the end of the tour and what everyone was waiting for, beer. <laughs> I mean, how can you do a brewery tour without some beer, right? Well, this was the best part of the tour that I found was the most unique and different than any other tour we had had on before. The thing that surprised me most was that they took us down into their historic cellars. I had never seen anything like that before. While down there, we got to view the spill spillage tubs and learn the term beer blanket. Then it was time for the fun part, the beer tasting. We got to taste unfiltered and unpasteurized Pilsner or Kale beer tapped directly from an oak lager cask. It was a huge cask, and it was fun watching our beers being poured. We were then able to stand around and talk for a few minutes before we headed back up and made our way to the visitor center. I am so glad we made the time to do this on our side trip while we were on our way down south to Munich, Germany. You will find a link to their site and more information about their tours on my post. I have added both links in the description. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the Persner Raquel Brewery. I know I enjoy sharing, but now I feel like I want a beer. But before I do, I want to say thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and feel free to describe and follow us on our adventures. Thanks all for now. Happy travels. Samantha from Golden Age Traveling, where age is just a number.